The shutdown's impact is spreading well beyond federal workers and contractors. In Stafford County, Catherine Koch has a lot of her hopes and dreams wrapped up in a store. But she fears that the shutdown may for force her to lay off all of her workers and close down. Bruce Lashan talked to her and some of the people who work for her. We can't pay our bills. It, it's just, it's nuts. And I, I don't want to shut my doors, but I'm afraid. Catherine Koch is really terrified. It's, it's gotten to the point where, um, I can't sleep, so. In the last six years, she has built a small business from almost nothing. And we're just pawns in this game. Um, just stop, um, put everybody back to work. Since the shutdown, sales at her simply beautiful spaces interior design store have imploded. So we're doing 25% off on everything in store and then 30% off on custom orders. January is down 87 to 93% and it's just, it crushes me. She has now had to lay off seven of her 18 employees. I don't know what I could do or what I would do if, if it were to end. Economists call this the ripple effect. You throw a rock in the water and the ripples spread across the whole pond. You lay off federal workers and contractors and the loss of their paychecks and the psychological impact of that spreads across the entire economy. This is what it used to look like. So Nursing student Addison Lynch this has worked for Coke for three years. Now she's at risk of being laid off, just like her dad, who is furloughed from the FAA. My parents. I think are not trying to seem worried for my sister and I, but at the same time, I think they have to worry about that in the back of their mind. At Simply Beautiful Spaces, they sell furniture, they fix furniture, and they teach you how to design your home. Oh, it'd be horrible to close it down. But what they cannot figure out is how to counter political gridlock. Stop fighting. In Stafford, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. Catherine Koch says interior design and furniture is a want, not a need. And without paychecks coming in, she says a lot of her customers are just sticking with the necessities.